Watch you guys got another video here for you now Microsoft have decided that Windows will no longer automatically back up your registry basically Microsoft have made a change to the Windows 10 version 1803 upwards towards 1903 and onward from there that it won't be backing up the system registry to your regback folder on your operating system now I think this is a stupid move by Microsoft as you can see here their article explains it all it basically won't back up any of your um, system registry to uh, the regback folder which is used for uh, sort of recovery really when your registry has got corrupted and I use it quite a lot and if you want to re-enable that I'll show you how you can do it now Microsoft have said that this is not a bug and they've uh, basically disabled this because it reduced the overall disk footprint size of the drive and personally it's only going to be roughly around about a gigabyte so it's really not worth uh, disabling in my personal opinion and I think Microsoft have made a bit of a mistake. It's great to recover your registry from uh, this location if you've got a corrupt registry you can also use this to recover uh, your system so let me just show you what it looks like basically when you go to this location here which is where the regback folder is and you've seen me make videos on this over the years you can see it's empty and this is because they've disabled it and this has been done since 1803 apparently and people have only just noticed that it's not working or they thought it was a bug but it's not it's actually a feature that uh, Microsoft have decided to disable you can re-enable it and I'll show you how to do that and this is a really useful way that's one of those features I think is useful when you've got a real bad corrupt registry and you want to recover from that registry by using those reg backup files so go to your registry editor by typing regedit in the search box and now we need to navigate to this location here which is your hkey local machine and once you get there we can uh, add a, a quick new dword 32-bit file in there so let's go there so I'm going to go to hkey local machine system and then we need to go to current control set then control then session uh, manager and then we need to go down to where it says um, configuration manager after this so go down to session manager and then configuration manager so open this one up and you should see it in there there we go it's up at the top there so click on this one and then once we're in here we can go over to the right hand pane and right click here and we need to add a new uh, D word 32 a bit value even if you're on a 64 bit operating system you need to add that 32 bit value in there now you need to put in the enable periodic uh, backup and make that feature a one so double click on this and then make this one and this will re-enable uh, that feature and it will put it back to the where it should be in my personal opinion and of course once you restart your system uh, this will put some files in there but they will be on zero and I'll show you how to get it to put those files in there immediately and I'll show you how to do that right now so let's just reboot our system and uh, so that's uh, put in place so I'm going to restart here and there we are we're back at the desktop and uh, we're going to go into our C drive Windows and system 32 and then go into our config there we go and we should see regback now you should see some files in here but you can see here the files are our registry files but they haven't been populated yet and they've got the 0kb on there that's okay uh, they will eventually uh, fill up and put the files in there but they haven't done it yet but they will do it in time but I'll show you how to quickly speed this process up and get it to do it right away and the way we can do that is by going into the task scheduler here so go into task and you can see task scheduler here Let's just open this up and we want to go up to the top left hand side here and then go Microsoft and then Windows and then you should see all of your task uh, schedules here so what we're going to do here is look for the registry here and if you look here you can see it inside here this is the one that's going to create those for us I'm going to right click on this and run and you should see it now running 
the status is running and this will then start that process immediately okay and of course this will keep it up to date uh, in due course uh, every so often it will keep those files updated uh, but right now I've just set this off just so I know that it's done it for us so all we need to do now is close this off and we'll go back to that location here just to see whether it's populated those files for us so back into Windows here and System32 and then we can go into config here and then reg back and there we go we've got our files all populated and these are very useful this means it's took a snapshot right there and then of our system so if this was of a time when it's working uh, this will be very useful if you need to uh, roll back to these or if you need to go into a WinPE and use these files to put them over your other registry files to fix any sort of registry uh, corrupt uh, registry or something like that it's very useful anyway hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos